guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is going to be, number one, a very long video, and I apologize, number two, that I have not been filming and editing and uploading because, number three, my computer is taking a shit on me, and I have no idea how to fix it. So my friend Shane is going to come over um, whenever he gets a chance, hopefully, but he works in retail, so this is the time of year where retail stores, they do not give you a break when you're working there for them. So It's stuck on this, like, infinite repair loop, like, automatic repair loop thing that it just will not get out of. And I'm guessing, well, from what he told me, Windows 10 has been having so many problems because of this problem. And there have been other ones as well, but this is one of the main problems with this new update for Windows, is that it gets itself stuck and doesn't know how to get past what it's at. I'm sorry for the long period of time between these videos. I spent my entire Sunday afternoon editing, filming, all that kind of stuff. I'm not complaining. I missed it. I missed talking to you guys and making videos, but it, it was like, it was a lot. Of work. So the first thing I unwrapped with my mother-in-law's gifts, because my mother-in-law literally went all out this year and I'm super thankful for everything I got because she really, she really knows me. So the first thing I unwrapped was this, and I thought it was a candle at first, so I looked for a wick, there was no, there's no wick there. But this is actually an organic or handmade, handcrafted uh, sugar scrub. So I'm excited to use it. It smells like a lemony butter, it has smells like lemony butter. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. But it has a really unique scent, but it actually smells really good. She also got me a makeup bag, which I have been needing desperately because I don't know what happened to my other makeup bags. <laughs> they kind of just got lost in transition with the move and everything in October. So I've been going without one for a while, and I've been using the purses that have little side purses, but those normally I have to use for my wallet and stuff like that. So the fact that I have a new one now, I'm super excited about it. It's really pretty, really pretty floral pattern. I love this kind of pattern. Like you can see in between, it's got like flowers and stuff like that. I, I love this kind of a pattern. So it's very cute, very dainty, and I love it so much. She also got me this amazing hair dryer by the company called Gem. I've used one of their straighteners a very long time ago and I loved it and it lasted me quite a few years actually. Eventually it burned out like most hot tools do. I decided to try this out because it looks really cute. It has a diffuser with it and my blowout tool that I'm obsessed with that I use all the time when I do blowouts. Um, and it has this really cute pattern on it so I'm very excited to use it and see how it works. You know you've reached adulthood when you get excited about things like home appliances or small appliances and this year she also got me and Nick both a crock pot. Well, we both have the crock pot, the same one. We don't each have one. But we both got a crock pot and I'm super excited about it. I'm using it for the first time today. And I'm going to be getting one of the recipes from this other present, the last present she gave to me, which is the Taste of Home Slow Cooker Cookbook. I decided to put a hairband on because this little random like bang thing is annoying the shit out of me and it won't stop. Now onto the gifts from my mother my little brother as well. So this first one is the Wet n Wild Complete Color Collection Kit um, from Wet n Wild, obviously. I already have all three of these eyeshadows and this mascara, so I think I'm gonna make these extras for my Halloween time makeup box. Um, the eyeliner I need actually, because I, I just ran out of my NYC eyeliner, which I'm in love with, so I'm gonna use the eyeliner, but these four products here, I'm probably gonna just put in a box to the side for around Halloween time. She also got me these two shirts from the Bon Tom, which is kind of like the New England version of Nordstrom's, because we don't have Nordstrom's here for whatever reason. Um, but this is from Calvin Klein, both of these shirts, and I love how beautiful and bright it is. It has this really cute, like, big-ass pocket thing on the side, and it looks like it could be, like, a dress. It's long enough to be a dress. And then I also got this one, which I love a lot because of the tie-dye. I love tie-dye. Another same kind of style, long, long t-shirt dress thing. I love how comfortable it is. The material is so breathable, and I feel like it keeps you warm, but also doesn't make you heat up to where you're just like sweating profusely, I hate that. She also got me two pairs of jeans, but I ended up having to take them back because they were way too big for me, like way too big, especially in the leg area. There was like no shape to my legs whatsoever. It was just bagginess, and I hate baggy pants. Um, so I returned them back, and I guess for credit, so I'll show you guys in a couple minutes what I got in exchange for those pants. I also got this lip gloss set from Lancome. This is the Holiday in Paris Gloss in Love set. I've never tried a Lancome product before, so it was really exciting to see these in my little gift bag. The last thing I got was this Wet n Wild Center Stage Collection Limited Edition Jet Set Makeup Palette. I had mentioned this for weeks before Christmas because I knew it was coming out and I mentioned how much I love Wet n Wild products and I love their holiday palettes and this was one of them and this is literally the biggest palette I have had in my collection. I could not believe 
how big this was because really and truly the picture looks like it's big but this is literally even bigger than what it says so you open it right here in the middle and you have your eyeshadows first you have blues purples nudes you have oranges peaches yellows this really weird blend green randomly um, more on this side and then you slide these open then you have your lip glosses and you open it even more and you open this little slot and then you have I can get it down highlights contours and almost like a really shimmery uh, blush shade right here very very nice and then you open the other side and you have even more blushes right here all right so in place of the pants I returned I still have like I think like $30 in my card but I, I just picked up this like little gift set for the Mickey Minaj perfume Pink Friday so you have a little roller not roller ball but a little spraying tube thing and it also came with a scented dry body oil so it's supposed to be like really nourishing for your skin but makes you smell good at the same time I completely forgot I got two candles so my mom knows how much I absolutely love Yankee Candle like love Yankee Candle so she got me this first candle in the scent home for the holidays and it just smells like Christmas. I also got balsam and cedar which is my second favorite and it just smells like Christmas tree because I love the smell of like woods like I love tree scents I don't know why but especially Christmas trees it smells super super good and with a house like the one I have right now like it's in the middle of the woods on top of a mountain it just it fits you know what I mean we have wood interior a nice fireplace scents like these kind of go with our house so very happy about these two so on to my gift card purchases so my grandmother gave me and my mom a $100 gift card each to TJ Maxx. And I love TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Love those stores. <laughs> I rewatched that footage I just filmed with a sneeze, guys. And you have to be able to laugh at yourself, man. If you're gonna do something like this, you have to laugh at yourself because some of the shit you do, like without even trying, it just makes really good fucking footage, man. Just laughing at myself forever. So with that gift card, I picked up quite a few things. I got a bra, which I don't need to show you guys because it's a bra. And then I also found a crap ton of Sephora products. I didn't get any of them because they were all like dried out and they're from Pantone Universe. Like I think it was like last year's color of the year, which was emerald I think. And they were all like all dried out. So I was like, mm, I'll pass on those. But I did find one that I was super excited about. So this is the Kat Von D Foiled Love Liquid Lipstick in the shade Adora. And it is this like fire, fire, fire red coral shade. It's gorgeous. I don't normally like glittery lipsticks. I don't like them. I don't know why. But this one just spoke to me in the most beautiful, harmonious way. I also picked up a wet brush because... I've heard so many good things about these brushes because they're so good for your hair especially. You're not supposed to brush your hair once you're out of the shower with a normal brush. So they made these like really cool like new brushes that you can brush your hair with out of the shower and it kind of just helps to detangle your hair in a better way than a, a traditional brush would. I also found two lip I also found two lipstick holders. So I got two of them. They were like $3.99 a piece. One is now holding my MAC lipsticks and this one's holding my NYX lip products. And then the biggest purchase I had made for yesterday with that gift card was this. I finally spoiled myself and picked up Lola by Marc Jacobs. I have had people tell me all the time, since I love like woodsy scents, like floral scents, that I would love this perfume. And I am so happy that I found it when I did where I did for the price that I did because I'm so happy with the scent itself. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's huge. This is the 100 milliliter bottle. Like even after I finish it years from now, um, I'm gonna keep the packaging because it's just so pretty. So that's it. And then the last bigger purchase of the day was this. This retails for $99.50, so $100. I got it for 30 bucks. This is a Michael Kors sweater. It is a woman's sweater. I, you guys, I'm super excited to wear this because I've been looking for a sweater just like this. It has like kind of like a V cut in the front and the back. I love the cut. Um, it's longer in the back than it is in the front, which I also love. It has a cute little tag thing on it on the side here. It says Michael Kors on it. Um, and it's just, it's such a like comfortable sweater. So last part of this haul is going to be a ColourPop haul because 
I have won a giveaway on Instagram. I actually won two giveaways. One for the Stardust palette and then one for this haul. I want to personally say thank you to both Amber's Beauty Spot on Instagram and Chi Chi. I will link both of their profiles for Instagram if they have YouTube channels as well down below for you guys to check them out. They are going to have future haul future giveaways. So go ahead and check them out there. But I had an $80 shopping spree at ColourPop. So Mama went kind of nuts with that. So I've heard nothing but good things about the ColourPop blushes, the new ones they just came out with. And there's one in particular that Kathleen Lights had turned me on to. And it is the one in the shade Lunch Money. It is the perfect, like, beautiful highlight shade. Go ahead and swatch this one first. Look at that, how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna have so many swatches on my hand. It's right there. Very, very natural highlights. I got two of the ultra mattes. I got LAX and Teeny Tiny, which I will swatch for you. Um, Teeny Tiny is definitely like a mauve nude, but it comes off a lot darker. As you can see, like it's a lot darker out of the tube than it is in the tube. So I'll put this right here. But nonetheless, it is a beautiful, like a light brownish mauve shade. And then I also have, like I said, LAX. It looks more like a terracotta brown, but it comes off more red. So I'll put her right here. Oh, gorgeous, look how beautiful that is. But lastly from ColourPop, I got a bunch of eyeshadows and four, oh, three of these are gonna be like more neutral, like everyday, you know, wearable shades. The rest are gonna be literally like out there, wowza, really bright, out of nowhere, really pretty shades. So I'm really excited about those, but I'll start with the more subtle ones first. So the first one I got is in the shade DGAF, which stands for Don't Give a Fuck. If you guys didn't know and this one is a beautiful rose goldy bronzy shade and it comes off looking just absolutely oh, stunning like absolutely gorgeous I also picked up cheap date which is my idea of the perfect gold this is literally like someone melted gold and stuck it into this little pot for color pop so I'll put him right here Beautiful. Last of the more subtle, like nudie shades is Stereo, and this is just a really pretty, like smoky bronze shade, if you will. And I'll put her right here. This one is gorgeous too. I forgot to tell you guys about the lippy sticks I got. Boogie is more of like a like a violety purple shade, and um, Silk is more of a deep red. So those are those. So now into the more out there color. So I'm gonna start with the more matte ones, even though they're not really matte, they're pressed pigments. This first one is Leopard, and it is just a royal purple. It looks beautiful. I used this actually already, and it does such a beautiful job of blending out and building up color. So I'll put her right here. Beautiful. The next one is in the shade Etiquette, and this is just a really pretty like royal blue. So right here is Etiquette, and this is beautiful, like I said royal navy bluish shade and then these last five are like <laughs> this first one is in the shade erotic and this is a fire coral with beautiful iridescence to it oh and these stay looking gorgeous too this next one is in fantasy and it is beautiful like purpley magenta This one is in Slave to Pink, and this is literally the most perfect neon pink I've ever seen in my life. Oh, just, I, got, I just cannot get over how beautiful these are. Dare, which is a more lavendery, lilac-y purple. Subtle, but it still has some really pretty brightness to it. But this is buildable. Like, if I do one more, I guarantee you it'll look as bright or a little bit brighter than the other ones as well. So, And this last one is in the shade Fizz. And this one is literally the most brightest lime green ever to have been ever seen by anybody, at least by me. So this one is super, super, super bright. So that's him right here. And this is him swatched just beautiful. 